What an episode. You guys are going to watch a real fun one at the end. Sal and I may or may not have started an OnlyFans. We started an OnlyFans. Uh, we're going to beat Bad Baby. We're going to beat Bad Baby. We talk about Puerto Rico, Al Roker, Bad yep. Baby. It's a great The women with the longest steps in the world, uh, the longest, longest legs, legs in the world. Yeah, we're going to do OnlyFans. Uh, we're, not, we're not showing holes, but we're showing everything else. Yeah, and we're going to love it. And um, what I think also you're going to love, Sal, back me up if you'll love this, is right now on Netflix, I have a comedy special out called Special Weshy. If you have Netflix, it's there, baby. It's, I mean, this is it. Go it's watch it. This is, And it's hysterical. Thank you. And I've seen it, and uh, you're going to love it. And that's huge. That's huge. And huge. then um, if you want to see me live, May 5th, I am in Los Angeles at the Peppermint uh, Lounge. May uh, 14th at Count Basie, which is sold out in Red Bank, New Jersey. Thank you, thank you. May 24th, Vulcan Gas Company, Austin, Texas. And May 26th, Phoenix, Arizona. Then I'm coming off the road for two months. All the merch is available right now. Yes, it is. Links are in the videos. Links are on our social pages. Merch is finally out. Uh, if you go see him May 14th at the Red Bank, you can't see me May 14th at the Beacon, but it's sold out yeah, both and it's sold, sold out. out. So you can't do it anymore so at all. So you know what? Go see Steve Byrne. Go see That's somebody right. else May 14th. <laughs> Steve Byrne. Yeah. Uh, May 21st in San Diego, May 22nd at the Wiltern in Los Angeles, and uh, July 15th at the Virgin uh, Theater in, in, in Las Vegas. All fun stuff. Enjoy the episode. Patreon coming soon. Uh, uh, don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away. Feelings, babe, don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, don't hesitate to say, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, everybody, everybody say, when, when you, you hear, hear the, the call, call you, you got to get it underway, hey, babe, it's the code word, no matter where you say it, you'll know that you'll be heard, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe. Hey, babe. How you doing? What's up? No, Love the shirt. Coconuts? Yeah. You know, I saw you putting on a printed tee today. Look a, at a that. Printed, a printed button down today. And I said, let me let me, let me, me throw it on. And I want to shout out vibe. the Ru Roosevelt's, uh, the RSVLTS, the uh, Kunu Flex shirt. This shirt, most comfortable shirt I've wow. had. Um, this is not even a promo. I mean, they don't sponsor anything like that. Right. I'm just genuinely telling you this shirt is awesome. Yeah. I got uh, the Bears uh, print that. on this one. They got a great, lot of great shirts out there. Um, so, yeah, man. And speaking of coconuts, um, I was in Puerto Rico. Oh, uh, you yes. just got back. You were there for an extended amount of time, right? Babe. You, you know my you know my family. I have family there. Are you kidding me? That's what I said. You, you I were in PR. That's my, my, my half of my homeland. We knew. It was the Volcanoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Diaz's. The Di and and um, they, we had a coconut tree. And the tree Rodriguez's. Directly outside my hotel directly outside my hotel room that a guy climbed a tree and was with a machete me and my family were watching this with a machete and was hacking down fresh coke coconuts they told me if these coconuts would have fallen they could kill any member of your family from that height from that height chopped it down with the uh, with the machete they left us the coconut it's their stand. version of falling rocks exactly yeah smash the coconut they, we, they said, just smash it. I smashed the coconut, was drinking real coconut juice, and ate the coconut meat right out of a coconut. It was just in the tree. It was amazing. It was some way to live, huh? Oh, love it. Did you feel in one, at one with the... Yeah, yeah. you were going to... You, you decided to go there on a vacation. Like, you said, time out. Let's go. Yeah, I said, time out. Let's go on a vacation. I was supposed to actually do a show there. I, I know. I plugged that for you. <laughs> yes, and I canceled it, uh, which I appreciate. I, I canceled it because I just... When I was there, I said, you know what? It's a lot of stress to think about yeah. doing stand-up. Stand-up takes a lot. Stand-up's a stressful. It's a beautiful thing. We both love yeah. that it's our careers, but it's very, you got to understand, it's not just the show. It's thinking about it's the show all day, everything. every second, yeah. preparing. And I just wanted to relax. I really wanted to just relax. So I canceled the show. I apologize to the fans that that uh, may have bought tickets. I would love to go back there just right now. It's a bit much. I just haven't really taken a break at all since I know you have not. March of 2020. Yeah. So I was just like, I don't want to, uh, I just wanted to take a break. And um, how was it? It was unbelievable. You ready for this? Tell me about your day. Okay. How was the food? Did you go to the beach? How was the water? How did the kids like it? So literally. How, were there, were there vixens walking around? There were vixens. Of the Puerto Rican nature. <laughs> Video vixens. Okay. They literally, I had a hotel, I had a, in my hotel room, there was a pool, a plunge pool right outside the room. Beautiful. We got there at, let's say, 2 p.m., put my bags down. What part of PR? Dorado. Sure. By the way, there was, I just want to say before I forget. Dorado that, is where I literally have family in Dorado. Dorado's amazing. Yeah. There was a really annoying woman on the plane coming back. She was like a full white woman, blonde hair, blue eyes, was speaking like as English as a this. A full white. A full white. 
coming, you know, on the plane going back from San Juan back to New York. She goes, the flight attendant comes over, you know, is asking, you know, for, um, you know, would you want snacks, drinks, whatever. And this woman's speaking like she doesn't have a Latino accent at all. She goes, I'll take, um, yeah, I'll take pretzels. And she goes, do you have Coca-Cola? <laughs> I hate that. And I was like, oh, I hate it. I hate why that. are you saying it like that? She goes, do you have pretzels, peanuts, and Coca-Cola? It's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I hate this lady so much. I, I had a friend once, like a long time ago, go backpacking through Europe. And, and then when, when they came back, they were using all the, like they had a little bit of a, like a, European accent, and we're using all the terms like, "Oh, I'm gonna go to the loo." I'm like, "You, dude, you Shut were there up. for six weeks." Stop yeah, it. Stop yeah. It. Uh, do you want? Uh, yeah. Um. Why don't we? Why don't we get food? But instead of going to the restaurant, let's get it for takeaway. It's like, yeah. shut up! It's delivery. Yeah. <laughs> Like yeah, it's guys, not takeaway. It's DiGiorno. It's DiGiorno. Yeah. You ever, you ever say anything to them? How do you even approach your friend and say? No, I never did. I just rolled my eyes in the back yeah, of my it's, head. It's extremely annoying. Yeah. It's it's extremely annoying. Get, I mean, I get it. You were a couple of months. You saw a lot of cultures, yeah. and stuff, but you didn't change what yeah, you've you're known not, you're for. You're not a th- Hungarian national all I know, of a sudden. I know. I know. This one was so known. Coca-Cola. But so we literally, I dropped my bags, whatever it is, two o'clock. Go to the bathroom to whatever, wash my face from the flight. My daughter, um, immediately, my six year old daughter gets butt naked, puts on her uh, bathing suit. I'm talking about, we were, th- I wasn't there for 90 seconds. <laughs> Jumps into the plunge pool, not realizing it's a three foot pool, scrapes her knees on the bottom of the pool, is gushing blood in the water immediately. Immediately, as I'm running to go get my six year old daughter out of the pool, screaming, crying, gushing blood, because the rest of my family was down by the beach. Blood in the. My 10-month-old daughter is just learning how to walk, goes to take one step, falls, smashes her head off the hotel f- you know, floor that has no carpets. I have two, Now both my daughters are screaming, hysterical, crying. I'm holding one. The other one's bleeding in the pool. And you were like, show's canceled. Yeah, and I was like, I can't do this. Show's canceled. Yeah. I need to relax. Yeah. And I, a T.T. Jerry, who was one of the co-hosts of Hey Babe, is climbing one of the trees <laughs> to see if, if he can get a coconut. He looks like a chupacabra. I was calling him, <laughs> I was calling him Chupa Titi. Uh, it was, look, that, that, see, that's the pool in the background. See, that's my room. You got those coconut trees right there, and that's a pool oh, right the, behind me. the pool belong to the hotel or your room? No, that's my own, we oh, had our own I love personal a pool. pool. A the plunge room. pool at the And I never had one before um and it was um and it was wild and i it, but honestly that's how it started that's how the vacation started um oh and my stepson had a stomach virus but we just said me and my family made the decision said we're in puerto rico let's get her some band-aids the babe the little violet's head she'll be fine ice and then tristan take half a pepto yeah and that's it and we yeah. you know what we had the best time we, I, the Ritz Carlton Dorado. Another thing, we're staying there. I'm watching the news the next morning. I'm watching the news, still in my routine. I put, throw on the Today Show. This is a thousand percent true. This can be verified. Okay. Channel Four. That's what I go to. Today Show, NBC. I go. I'm watching the news. Peacock. I see Al Roker. Yeah. I see Al Roker's doing. The weather from, from Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. No. I said no way. No He's way. In Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. I gotta find him. I gotta find him. I said I gotta go get myself a Coca Cola and I gotta find him. I. Hand. You didn't find him. You found Al Roker in Puerto Rico? I was in room <laughs> 513 at the Ritz Carlton Dorado. Yeah. Okay? Literally, Sal, hold my hand. Tell what me I'm about to in... tell you. I no. come. I want to believe no. it. Let's go. I'm ready. My balls. Jasmine was there. My balls Liz was there. T.T. Jerry. Yes. Delilah. Violet, yes. even though she had a concussion. Yes. Tristan, even though he's puking. All as, as God oh. as my witness. Yeah. I walk out of room 513 at the Ritz-Carlton in Dorado. <laughs> no. Who's walking out of room 511? No. Al Roker, no. his son and wife. No. And you just saw him doing yes. the news? Yes. And then I see him in I see him in the gym hours later. I didn't he say He does hit the gym. He goes at, he hits the gym all the time. No, that guy was in the gym every day at 730 in the morning or uh, 930 in the morning because he was doing the news. Wow. I go see him at the. Again, I don't. I, the, there were witnesses. I don't know who they are, but they heard this. I was wearing a Whitney Houston shirt, a purple Whitney Houston shirt, where she has a shaved head in one of her in shaved one of her head. album covers. Okay. He, Al Roker, I'm on the treadmill. Al Roker's on the elliptical. I go to Al Roker. I say, he he goes, I like that shirt. I go, yeah. I'm gonna tell my kids it was Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> he goes, he goes. No, Turns around, goes in the no, elliptical. No. Yeah, and I was like, "Why did I say that? <laughs> like, why? Why did I? Wh- wh- and wh- that's the only interaction. That's you had the only with interaction I had with Al oh. Roker. Except, and you ready for this? We had ordered a cabana. We had ordered. <laughs> he, he didn't even know you're a comic. You just sound like a, a weirdo. Like a weirdo. We had ordered a cabana. 
yeah. at the pool by Posit- a cabana a cabana at the yeah. pool by Posit- at the pool the, the pool that was by Positivo, not the Encanto uh, cabana. Okay, um, so you got a, a Positivo there's an Encanto can- cabana. Yeah, uh, there's an Encanto pool. Cabana, and then there's the, the 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 Cabana by Positivo. I don't know what that pool was called. So but you got a Cabana in Positivo got at the, Dorado. I got the Cabana by Positivo in, in, by, by the restaurant Positivo uh, in Dorado. Yeah. And I, I said, and they made a mistake. I was supposed to get the Cabana for Wednesday. Sorry, for Tuesday. So we go up, show up to the Cabana for Tuesday. They we don't say, have your we rest. We said, we're ready for the Cabana. They, they said, oh, I'm so sorry. They said, we thought it was Wednesday. And I said, no, Tuesday. <laughs> they said, oh, we so sorry? You're so sorry. <laughs> they, go, they go, we thought it was for Wednesday. I said, we specifically said Tuesday. They said, well, we unfortunately, all the the, the, the cabana that was for you, we gave to Mr. Al Roker. No. Al Roker took my cabana and his family. Rokes took Rokers. your cabans. Yeah. I got Roker. <laughs> <laughs> Roker. Roker. But Al Roker um, also famously shit his pants at the White House. Uh, wow. I, I should have asked him about that. But what now? Can you take us through the story, Pip? Because you've told me this multiple times that he's pooped his pants at the White House. It's my favorite thing. So uh, he wrote a book a few years ago about his struggles with weight loss, sat down with. I've met Rokes. You met Al Roker? It was Did you poop his pants? a handshake type deal. What, where where'd you meet him? I, oddly enough, did you do I, the Today Show? I met him, I, I, yeah, maybe I was on set, I think. I was on. I did the Today Show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I, don't, I, I, I know I've met him more than once. I think I had functions. You ever stuff. do the Tonight Show? No. We, we That'd had, be fun to do the Today and the Tonight three, Show on the same day. We had three <laughs> cancellations of the Tonight Show. What are they canceling for? No, we had to, it was COVID three times. Got it. Three times. And then we were supposed to go in studio and I was out of, out of the country. We should try to get Hey Babe on a late night show. Ooh, we should try to get fun. Hey Babe on the Tonight Show. That'd be fun. Think, I wonder if we could do that. Why not? Seriously, I wonder if we could like use the connects and be like, can we get Hey Babe as a guest? Like, has, has there ever been a guest of a podcast? I don't think so. You know what I mean? Like, not we have I a know. podcast. Yeah. Why don't we try and to we're, do that? We're, we're a New York podcast, you know? We're Why New don't York. we try to do that? We yeah. got a friendly podcast. Let's do Hey Babe. I like it. Yeah, I, I like it. That. We could try it. Yeah, right. love that. Let's put that out in the universe. Also, I haven't seen you guys since we went to Vegas to the win where you performed. And in Vegas, something really weird happened at the pool. They actually hire hawks to patrol the pool. Did you see what? that? What? Yeah. They hire hawks to patrol the wind pool? I, I swear to God. I-, I asked the woman about it. She gets paid to walk around with her hawk and the hawk like kills rodents. Really? That's a job. At the pool? I don't think I went to the pool at the win. It's real. Now for that, speaking to Vegas, babe, I am actually playing the theater at the Virgin Hotel on July 15th. At the what hotel? The Virgin Hotel. There's a new hotel. Oh, the Virgin Hotel. It's a new hard rock. It's the old uh, old hard rock. Yeah. I'll be there July 15th. Tickets are on sale actually right this second. I forgot to say last episode. Six. I forgot to say, yeah. The Virgin Hotel seems great. Yeah. You're going to be doing some f***ing in there? Woo! Who f***ing night? Who Oh, oh, you got a hundred dollar bill, put your hands up. You got a hundred dollar bill, make noise. All the ladies, put your hands up. All the ladies, make noise. You got real hair, real fingernails. If you got a job and you go to school and you don't give a damn about what that baby talk about, make some noise. There it is. Want an energy ball? Yeah, I think I need. There you go. That's what I was missing. Nice. What does Sal do in Vegas? What's your Vegas? What do I do? Yeah. Hold up in the goddamn room. Oh, yep. Okay. No, okay. No. You don't shop? I feel like you shop. No, I shop like a mother. I went I, to I Vegas. I shopping. I go to the casino. I throw around some craps. Pool. Mm. Love it. Go in the pool. I, I, love I was running you in Vegas yeah, once. We went we, in the pool. We hung out at, uh, what was it, Delano? Delano. Um, yeah, De- Delano. Oh, no. Was, no. Oh, Atria. A- Aria, maybe? Park. Park. Park and then, but no, but then we went. Remember, we went for your party and we were all in the lazy river together. Oh, we I, I thought you were doing the when I performed there. You're talking about, yeah, no, I never performed there with you. Oh, uh, yeah, we went to um, yeah, we went in the lazy river. Yeah, it was and fun. We, we got our own pool at the Caesars. Yes, that was fun. That was fun. I remember that. So, I was on concert, but I think you left prior. To I left, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, I had a show. He, sh- he shit his pants too, right? You said uh, uh, apparently at the, the one we were at in Vegas. The Yellow Brick Road Tour, by the way, three hours of bangers. After every single song, he got up, went to the front of the stage, and took a bow, and he got a standing ovation after every song. He played, I think he played like 27 songs. And every single song, he had a spittoon next to him, and he would just like, and he just spit, spit into this gold spittoon. Wow. 
Like he needed to spit, I guess, to clear his voice. Whatever. And he just lean over and talk, uh, spit Let into the clear mouth. In the gold, seriously, in the gold spittoon. And then he would get up. He would bow. The whole place would rise. Then he'd go like this, like a, almost like royalty. And he'd sit back down. It came out in the. In, we talked about this. Yeah, yeah. We came out in the paper later that he was pissing himself the entire time on that one. Why? Just had to he, go. He said he wore a diaper and he was just pissing. Did you say he wore his pajamas too for the last? He might have. Well, I don't understand. I don't know if he like needed to wear the diaper or if he just like was I like, think it's a I'm going to take it easy. I what? now know, I now know in hindsight, if that, if I, if that, if that opportunity ever happened again, which it, it wouldn't because, you know, he's retired now since Elton John. But I, that was, <laughs> that moment was, that was more important than me doing a comedy show. I should have just done that for my life. I but wish that I did I, a comedy show. I flew Southwest Airlines and did a comedy show. I know we were on the road. We were with a lot of pe- folks. We, I mean, we ended up going to that concert with like 30 people. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's like yesterday. We had a whole massive. It's, it wasn't even a suite. It was a cut out section of the arena right above the stage. It was open air. It wasn't a suite, wow. but it was completely blocked off. And we had like it was an open suite, but we also had our own huge like tables. Like it was, it was, it was like nothing I've ever seen in Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena. They have this section. It's so you got to Google it. It's like you can have a section of the arena. It's wild. It's wild. Everybody just chipped in and got it. It was crazy. Dude, I love it, man. A shout out T Mobile. You're you're a T Mobile customer. I used to be. <laughs> right. I used to be. After right. twenty three years I, I abandoned them. And you would get free um you would get free uh uh Wi Fi on flights. Yeah. Being T Mobile. Mm. Um I have a hack about that, I'll tell you later. Tell us off air. Mm. Um but babe, Puerto Rico recharged. I went to Did you, um, would you put on a lot of sunblock though? What do you mean? I don't see a golden bronze coming out. My up. face a little bit. Your, your face, face has a little, a little color. Tan? Your face has yeah, a little the, color. Yeah, the arms. Yeah, I guess I put on too much sunblock. No, you didn't put on too much. <laughs> You're not supposed you to. You should get. protect your skin at all costs. So <laughs> pay for it later on in life. Literally, you'll end up looking like King Tanaka next week. One hundred percent. We went to we went to Old San Juan. We went to El Moro, one of the forts. Then you ever go to the fort in El Moro and San Juan? I, I haven't been to Puerto Rico. Never been to Puerto Sweater. Rico, bro. It was amazing. We go. It was one of the, it's I so. Think my parents windy had a honeymoon there. there. It's always windy there, right? They sell kites off the side of the road. It's always windy. Jasmine, who we're with, you know, she goes, I just don't want to lose my hat. And I was like, you're not going to lose your hat. Like, whatever. Has her hat on, whatever. She had just bought this hat, loved this hat. We go up to El Moro. It's very windy. She's holding the hat. She's holding the hat. She goes, I go to her. Um, I go, oh, like, because we hadn't taken a picture at all. We hadn't taken one picture at all the whole whole time we were there and i say which i never say i was like let's take a picture together up here it's like beautiful up here she goes okay she goes let's use your phone i go to pull out my phone to take the picture she doesn't like the picture she's like you know what let me use my phone she goes to take her uh get her her phone out of her bag hat blows right into the atlantic ocean into the right ocean. away. There's into no the recovering ocean. it? Or did yeah. you run for no, it? No, then we, I just took a picture with her with her hair pinned down, <laughs> knotted down with hat head. And that's you just let it go and went for it? No, it's, it fully, that's where we're standing. Oh, okay. It fully oh, blew okay. into the Atlantic Ocean. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Yeah. That, that looks like something out of freaking Game of Thrones. Yeah. Then, then, dude, we went, first of all, my San Juan, I loved it. I mean, it looks like, it feels like Miami. Um it was great. They have a district there right in Old San Juan, in the heart of Old San Juan. It's called La Perla. Google La Perla. L-E-P. It is like literally you cannot go in there. If you go in there and you take a picture or video, gang members will kill you. This is There's Gorgeous. one way in, one way out. It looks like Cinco Terra, I think. Yeah, no, the there's thing. a video of a girl, I think like a white girl getting lost, and they won't no. let her leave because she's taking videos. And it's like a thing that went on Instagram. <laughs> she's like, I'm in La Perla. They won't let me no. leave. No, it's like, it, and they t- the cab drivers, even uh, Jazz and Porter Rican family was like, do not go in La Perla. Do not go in La Perla. You cannot go in there. What's up with that? It's fully ran by the gangs, uh, or not gangs, whatever they're called. They don't call, oh, this guy went into La Perla? This white guy went into La Perla? Oh, maybe shit's changed. Um, <laughs> but you're not supposed to Inside go in there. Puerto Rico. You go- yeah, La Perla. If you guys have been, to, if you guys went into La Perla and made it out, uh, comment below. Doesn't um, San Juan mean with John? I it doesn't mean what's on. And Puerto Rico means rich port. I didn't understand the significance of Puerto Rico until I went there. Like everybody and their mama wanted Puerto Rico in the ancient world. Spain fought over it. Denmark, 
England, you know, United States eventually owns it because this port is so vital because wow. it's when you're coming across Europe, like when Spain would be traveling across the Atlantic Ocean and get to the new lands, you know, like the, you know, the United States, well, what, you know, North America, whatever it was, you know, being discovered at that time, they had to stop and Puerto Rico was like the best port to stop, recharge, whatever. And that's where Christopher Columbus landed there. I see first that in his 1493, the first one he st- Yeah, man, imagine landing in a tropical area and be like, yo, this is sick. Yeah. And then you walk into La Perla. And then he did that. I mean, he he named it San Juan, San Juan. Bautista after after Saint John the ba- after John the Baptist, who I believe got beheaded. Didn't John the Baptist get beheaded, uh, or did they ha- did they crucify I, him upside down? I forgot his origin. See story. if John the Baptist got beheaded. Did John the Baptist get beheaded? I I think he. I'm pretty sure he got beheaded. That's a great hip hop. Beheading name. of Saint John the Baptist. They cut his head clean off. September, oh, September 11th, 11th. Uh, 2022. Wow. That's the original 9 11. What? Wait, they cut wait, his head wait, off what? just recently? Wait, what? No, it, that didn't even happen yet. Uh, had an, um, I don't know what that is. Oh, he publicly reproved Herod for divorcing his first wife and unlawfully taking his second wife. He then ordered him to be killed by beheading. That I don't want to be beheaded. I got to be honest with you. Isn't there a, a, an artist right now named John Baptiste? Yeah, he he's on the Colbert show, right? Well, he, he, is he not a musician? He's a, he's he a just won comedian? A gra- he just won a Grammy. Does he have a head? <laughs> uh, as of right now. You know what I was thinking about doing? Oh, by the way, uh, have you ever been to Savannah, Georgia? Yeah. You have? Yeah, I was there the uh, the day that Trump got uh, won the election. Perfect place to be. <laughs> were you doing shows no there? Were just hanging no, out? No, it was there for my birthday and on vacation. I remember I went to bed and woke up, and that night was the uh, election. So I booked just a last-minute trip. 2016, I think. Uh, in, in June, I'm going to go to Savannah, Georgia. Where should I go? What should I do? Tell me about Savannah. Oh, babe. Tell it. To, it's, let's, you are going to love Savannah time. it. Love it. Because it's Is history. Is two days enough? Historical. Is two days enough? Two, two days men. I okay. did three and three. I split it up. I did. I think I did three in Savans, and then I did a. Uh, I, I and then I drove uh, after that to um, to uh, Charleston. Yes. Oh my God! You did back to back Cute. Cute. Yeah. yeah. I did, wow. and I did three days there, and both are littered. They're lousy but, with history. Well, Charleston, I've been to. Yeah. Charleston, I've been to. Yeah. Um, and I was insane. But you're saying is Savannah? Compare Savannah to Charleston. Are they apples to oranges or? They both have a lot of historic stuff, a lot of old old school, like uh, like they have the, um, historical districts that are really beautiful. You could do a lot of house tours. Uh, they're by the water, both of them. Um, I hate people that sip like this. Yeah. Very annoying. Yeah. My mom does that. I know. I don't like when she does that. Sunday lawn. Sunday you know lawn. This. You, yeah. You've been seeing the commercials. I, I've been seeing commercials all over the place, and now they're uh, they're advertising with us here. It's hard to imagine. Spring's almost here. Everyone's getting their lawns back into shape, and you want that beautiful lawn. And Sunday is basically a subscription service that sends you everything you need to take care of your lawn, so you don't have to worry about it. it just comes right to the house. Uh, most most lawn treatments use a lot of chemicals. Uh, traditional lawn. Traditional lawn care lays down 90 million pounds of pesticides a Damn. year. Uh, they don't. They're on a mission to change how we care for our yards. Uh, and you don't have to choose between a beautiful yard now and keeping your family out of harm's way. Yep. Okay? Because it's greener and it's healthier. Okay? Sunday can help you grow a beautiful grass, a beautiful lawn without the guesswork or the chemicals. Their custom plans include fertilizer and everything you need to easily care for your lawn with ingredients like seaweed, iron, and molasses. You can feel good with kids and pets being around it. You just go visit Sunday.com. Uh, you put in your address, and their lawn analysis tool does the rest. Then they use soil and climate data Love to it. create a personal nutrient Love plan it. delivered to your door. I mean, how you do you not it. choose this company? It's easy to do. You can attach this ready-to-use pouch to your hose, and then you just spray it. It takes less than 15 minutes, and it gets all up in them roots. That's what it does. Sunday yeah. is offering our listeners 20% off full season plants. Start at just $129, and you can get 20% off at checkout when you go visit Get. Sunday.com slash hey babe. That's 20% off your custom plan at get Sunday.com slash hey babe. Sunday used to be the Lord's Day. Now it's the Lawn's Day. Woo! You like that? Nice. <laughs> I just created that. Yeah. Take it if you guys want, but the money will go up on the next and read. <laughs> 
All right. It can be hard sometimes to see the light at the end of the tunnel when you have high interest debt, and mm -hmm. sometimes it can be even harder to ask for help. Mm -hmm. That's where Upstart comes in. Mm -hmm. Upstart's model considers other factors like your income, employment, and other information provided in your loan application to find out to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You could check your rate in minutes for loans between one thousand to fifty thousand dollars without impacting your credit score. You can even receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Say goodbye to high interest credit card debt mm. is one of the first steps toward financial independence. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Upstart powered personal loans can help you pay down high interest debt all online with simple and easy to understand payment terms. It's got over 1.8 million customers on their path to financial freedom. Go down, pimp. Uh, but, but yeah, keep going down. Uh, just the stuff that's all yellow. Don't wait and check your, do not wait and check your rate today at upstart.com slash hey babe. That's upstart.com slash hey babe to check your rate today. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash hey babe. Don't wait and check your rate today at upstart.com slash hey babe. That's upstart.com slash hey babe to check your rate today. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash hey babe. Um, and and uh, it's, it's wonderful. A lot of good restaurants. Like you'll, you'll have a lot of fun. But Savannah is like when you're in the, that grid of like the historical area. Right. There's like, there's like a horse drawn carriages or whatever, and it looks it is restored to the old i mean it's like so I it's unbelievable you my, walk around you just you're gonna love it my hotel is in the historic <laughs> district yeah it, most likely right that's mine right. was at the top of it right at the top and we'd walk so Savannah, what hotel was it did you stay if at? you were i don't remember it was a nice one it was in, in a park Okay. It was at a park, which was like, it was at the top of the grid of the historical area. So literally I could just, do, I don't even need a two trolley. I literally just walk around and Savannah will find me. So you don't find Savannah. If Savannah finds you. <laughs> That's how it works. And you can get on a little like, oh, they have the bike riders that will take you up and down the streets. Right. On the, like the little, like you see, yeah. we have in New York City. Yeah. And you could just throw that guy like, you know, some cash and he'll take you up and down. I just was like, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to sightsee. So you stayed in a five, six block radius <laughs> and loved it. Like, loved it. That's all you need to do. It was so nice. And it's by the water, right? Such good food. Yeah. So, and there's a couple of good restaurants, I'll tell you. Husk is one of them, I heard. Husk is, is a very good restaurant. I got reservations for Husk. Oh, Husk is and then great. Vic's on the River, I got. It's Vic's, I don't know. And then Alligator Lounge is another one. Babe, do you remember where we ate in Savannah? Yeah. And then there's the, there's the one that everyone goes to. It's like the historical house with the pink lady. Oh, the pink lady house or Something whatever. Like that. I it, tried to make reservations. Was, I couldn't it, even it's, get it's in. It's a tourist trap. It was good. But it's like their oldest restaurant. It's an actual old home that you go. You don't in. need to it's kind of go. go there. You don't need Husky to. Need. Yeah, Husky that need. was good, man. Okay. Yeah, okay. we ate at a few different places. And then, um, yeah, it's just, it's just, you're going to like it. And you know what's crazy? It's set up, the way they set up the that town there, that historical area, was for war. So they every like every other block there's a there's a town like in a square like a a park an open park so it's like laid out like like picture a grid right okay. and then every other block on the same block is a huge square like a like a park and it, it's the same one all on every side and all everyone because that's where like they would like post up to battle like they were telling us the whole history wow line. but it, it looked aesthetically it's gorgeous because it's like beautiful old row houses and these old victorian houses and then all of a sudden there's this park and then it, again and a park and again in a park and it's like wow how did they and it's like no that was actually there for like actual st battle strategy if for the colonial war <laughs> civil war do we know if you well look at it. here we go here we go savannah was gifted to president lincoln during the civil war <laughs> yeah uh um what do we got? We got uh, Savannah's, Georgia's oldest city and first planned city in the U.S. Catholicism was outlawed when Savannah was founded. Should I cover up my Catholic tattoos? You might want to. The Girl Scouts were founded in Savannah. I'm bringing cookies. What more do you need? You can take your alcoholic drinks to go in Savannah. I believe that's true. By the way, today, well, when this episode comes out, it'll be uh, in May. I'm not going to have a sip of alcohol. I didn't have a sip of alcohol for 23 days. Uh, so right now. I didn't have, well, no, I, I had one because I, I drank Puerto when I went to Puerto Rico. No, I drank right. Puerto Rico, but I'm not going to have a sip of alcohol from today until I go to Savannah. The next time I drink is going to go to Savannah because what I've been doing when lately. When are you going? Uh, June 3rd. Okay. Because when I've been going, what I've been doing in my life and what I realize it just makes life so much better is I've been 
abstaining from something and then when I finally do it it makes it so much more sure. worth it so I feel like when I had a sip of uh, when I the the pina colada yeah. that I had when I landed in yeah. Puerto Rico that I, I was savoring so for good 20 when it hit days lips. it hit me in a different way yeah. where the other people I was with who had been drinking were like this pina colada is okay I said this pina colada tastes like it's it came from Jesus' penis yeah when you <laughs> when you abst- yeah I know I know when yeah. you abstain the colada no disrespect to anyone no, I, I, no I disrespect mean, a positive to, thing. Yeah, yeah. if Jesus when you say, when you abstain the colada hits different let me say this respectfully and yeah. i'm not even trying to be if jesus yeah did in fact have semen i would think because it is jesus the son of man yeah his semen may have tasted like a pina colada probably would taste whatever and he wanted it to taste like because it's beautiful and i'm, it's not, I'm not being disrespectful i'm just we're, we're adults here i know i understand yeah, yeah you're, you're pontificating yeah yeah I know. Moon River Brewing Company. Did you go in Savannah? I don't recall, but if you scroll up, I think that I just saw a picture of the park that I stayed that I was at. I want to see. The, no, is this the park? No, maybe something like that. Yeah. Oh my God! I see that moss. So, babe, my I got to bring my Claritin. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. The allergies, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah you got to bring June third. Is it going to be ungodly hot, or that's fine? July, August is when it gets bad. Yeah, but June probably going to be hot though. But I'll bring some. Whatever. I wish shorts. Yeah, you wear shorts. Yeah, I would bring shorts in June. Yeah, hundred percent, right? Yeah, I shorts would. in a tank. Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wore shorts out there or no? Uh, I was there in November, so I didn't oh, wear shorts. Must have been perfect. It was November. perfect, like sixty degrees. The beautiful. trees were all like kind of like still up and still just a little turning and everything. Well, and it's such a quick flight from New York. It's like an hour and fifty minutes. I, or something. I always said I want to go back. I haven't been back yet. When oh, you went in? Uh, why don't you go back? No, when November two thousand sixteen. Twenty four. Yeah, if he runs again, I'll go back just to <laughs> see, <laughs> just to be just there to be for there. the. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna really love it. You're gonna really love it. Um, uh, yeah, I'm excited to go. Who's got, uh, wait, you're not performing there. No, I have zero shows. I'm going with jazz. Just we said, you know what? And the kids? It, no, actually, the kids are not going to go. Wow. We just decided to go. TT's watching them. TT's going to watch the kids. We just decided to go because we said, you know what? Let's just go. Why the hell not? Let's just go. I've. It's a place I've never been. I've always, always, always wanted to go. I am going to do a show in Charleston at the Charleston Music Hall in October, November. So I figured I'll go back. I'll, you know, Savannah. So you go back is to there Charleston. A place to do eat comedy. A, eat a fig. Fig. Yes. And then I heard there's another place in Charleston called Hyman's. Uh, I think that's the name of it. I, 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 I think someone broke into that, <laughs> and I'm not sure if they're around anymore. Salud. Yeah. Um. So, babe, and then yeah. So now, listen. I haven't seen when I was in uh, Puerto Rico. Um, what were you doing? Were you just in New York? What were you doing? Yeah, I think I, I had. I think I had COVID. I was home for. Uh, I think it was ten calendar days. Uh, it was what opposite lives. It we was had. delightful. Those ten days. Yeah, delightful. You had COVID bedridden. I was in Puerto <laughs> Rico smashing coconuts. <laughs> I had to. You know, I, had to <laughs> I had to miss three shows because of it. I had a show in. Give you your Quinn Quinnipiac. Quinnipiac Quinnipiac University? Of course, in Connecticut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the great lacrosse team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a show there. They had this big event for the seniors called Wake the Giant, apparently. I I just found out about this. And I was supposed to, I was super psyched, got COVID. And I had to skip that. And then the students got all upset at me on, online. They were like, yeah, you owe us an apology. Are you serious? Yeah. They were like, yeah, you, you should have full COVID. Happened? Yeah, but I guess I didn't tell them that immediately. Yeah, what were you going to do? I mean, you could have done it, I, I guess. I, I tested positive that day. Oh, man. So it was like. And you I weren't was, feeling well. No. And then I felt, plummeted. Yeah. But then the next weekend, I was still testing positive when I was supposed to be in Louisville and Evansville. So I had to kick those to June. Got so it. I missed three shows. I didn't do much. You were in the tropics. Yeah. And that, that's what I was basically doing. I, I watched all of Severance. Uh, is Severance a good show on Apple TV? Blow your balls. Okay, but let me ask you this, because I, I it's funny that you said that, because I was going to watch, sit down and watch it yesterday Loved on Apple it. TV. Instead, I I'm going to watch it again. I watched the John, Gain, John Wayne Gacy tapes on Netflix. But Severance, is it comparable to Succession? Is it the you, same you guys, thing? You guys have touched on this. We did. Yeah. We talked about it last time. I told you to watch it. I told, you, no, I told no we never Q. talked about With Severance. Q. With Q. Okay. <laughs> Just yeah. tell me briefly because I didn't. No, no. I mean, it's, I mean, I don't know. Like, this is season one. It was nine episodes. It's more of like a, I don't know how to even describe it. It's like a sci-fi thriller, mystery, drama, comedy. It's a must watch. I I loved it. Okay. I loved it, and it ends. It ends on such a crazy note. Got it. Uh, now, Succession, I think, is like one of the best shows ever ever made. I, I can't stop uh, thinking about Succession. I and Kendall Roy. Written, directed, everything shot. It's it's just unbelievable. I would say Severance, I love it. It's one, it's one of the, it's probably the show I've gotten most excited about since 
Succession. Severance. And I've even watched Yellowstone, and I think I this gripped me even a little bit more than that. Wow, you got yeah. gripped even more. Yeah. Wow, because okay, I love okay. a good mist. I love I love a good like you got to figure it out. I um there was oh we haven't spoken since I think one of the last times I don't think we have we done a podcast since I bombed at Bentley University with you. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we did. We, we did a bombed. hockey arena. One of the last times I saw Sal was like back in February, and I, him and I did a hockey uh, arena at Bentley University, and I bombed. We all bombed. No, no, but I, I mean, I, I bombed just as much, as much, legitimately just as much. It was, I would say. You got I, off though and said it was your worst bomb. Ever. I've been doing stand up. I started stand up. First time I ever hit the stage it was 2009. Us, it wasn't us. Professionally, like headlining since about 2014, let's say I've done, let's say, just make it easy. It might even be more than this. Let's say I've done a thousand sets. Right. Like, that was the worst. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about <laughs> number one worst set I've ever had for 30 minutes. Absolute pin drop sounds where I started yelling to the children at <laughs> Bell University. I hope we get nuked right now. Oh I hope you guys never yeah. see your families again. Yeah, you went. I was yelling you, at you them, took, and then they started laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You you took a very uh, you took a very different stance than I yeah. did. I said you I'm turned the, on them. I said uh, you guys are going to come back to your dorm rooms, and I'm going to be I'm going to be dead hanging from one of your ceiling <laughs> yeah, fans. And they did not laugh. laugh at my they that didn't even it. laugh at that. that it was weird when you started like because you know. Usually you like start calling it out and you start making fun of it, but then they're not laughing at, at that. Even that. Well, you know, I'm on the side and I'm watching it. I heard him. I'm laugh. cracking up. I'm cracking what up. What happened? Why did they not speak English? No, no it was like I just it was like a, hard. It's like a, a, a 1,500 kids students that just were all not laughing. Yeah, they didn't. What I'm, the? It was just very weird. Who goes yeah. to a comedy show not to laugh? Well, the kids I, they don't know. It, they don't even know. But how old not, is the kids? Here's, what, here's what the thing: eighteen that's, to twenty-two. That's, that's no, not really kids. true though, because I do a lot of colleges that are fun. And I would say, if I'm going to break down all my colleges, I would say fifty percent of the shows are hot. Twenty-five percent of not them. Not the students. The show you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> the students. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fifty percent of the students are hot. I mean the show. <laughs> uh, I think I told you one time about this terrible joke I made while I was hosting a talent competition at a college. No, please tell us. I think uh. I told you that there was the let this. I, it was a mis. It was a. It, it, I just made the wrong call. I was up there riffing jokes for three hours. You know, it's like hosting an award show. It was like yeah. a CS. It's got they, they yeah. got talent. Yeah, you just got to keep making shit up. There was someone with the last name DeMeo. And she was a younger, very attractive girl. She wore something very provocative. And then, I mean, this is three hours of students competing. And I'm riffing the whole time. And then she she came out and they, the judges told her what she got. And then she walked off and the uh, crowd applauded. And I just said, wow, I've never wanted to hold DeMeo more in my life. Oh. <laughs> Did it bomb? Yeah, it was like a groan oh. from the whole place groaned. And I was like, I didn't mean it. Like <laughs> I meant it because the wordplay was so funny. I didn't really mean it. Like, But yeah. she, she, looked, she was a full adult. Yeah. Yeah. She wasn't a child. It wasn't like that. She was like 22 or whatever. Right, right, right. But uh, but I, I I was it was a miscue on my part. I shouldn't have said that. But I I think you would have left if you were oh, there. I would have fucking died. Yeah, yeah. And I bombed. And my buddy Jay was on the side of the stage and he was crying. <laughs> and then like it just that comment stayed with me for like the next hour on stage. Like, yeah. It just was like you. It was well, like it's still with you now. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Holden DeMeo, <laughs> teen with the longest legs in the world reaches new heights on OnlyFans. Yeah. This teen has the longest legs in the world. I wanted you to see this. Look at her legs. Those are... It's 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 insane. She looks like Jack... I mean, no offense. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I, thought oh my God. Was, I thought she was going to hit her head. <laughs> she just walked past the threshold and her head came a, a How centimeter. How tall is this one? She has... Look, the ceilings in our house are through the roof because that's the only way mm. that... She has 30-foot ceilings. It's Jack Skellington-esque. You know Jack Skellington from Nightmare yes, Before Christmas? Sure. Classic. Wow, look oh at those God. legs. God bless. How do you buy pants? She grew up, she consistently keeps getting taller. Does she have a disease? Uh, oh she keeps God. getting what, taller? She said she just keeps getting taller, too. Oh, my God. She just, she's she's on the, she's she on the volleyball fans? team, and she just doesn't have to she's jump. She's in high she just, school. What does she have an OnlyFans for? Everyone has an OnlyFans now. You can have an OnlyFans in high school? That's absurd. That's pedophilia. I mean, I oh, it depends just, on what you use. Why is oh, all, she's nineteen. Okay, is, but is all OnlyFans used for? That's not uh, what OnlyFans is used for. I mean, what else are you going to use OnlyFans for? When you say I have an OnlyFans, I, I, really, I never really. I never really. Unless truly, you read in the book, out of that put. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I don't know. All the girls I know on it, it's not uh, anything. But she's clearly not doing that. So it's got to no, be. No, I think she be... is. She's six foot ten. And I, no, I think it is $35 a month. Yeah, and I, what no, is she doing on it? Let's log in. Uh, no, I, um, I honestly have no, I don't have any information about OnlyFans. I know that, I know in culture people are like, oh, people go on and that's basically how they make money doing, it's almost like webcam shows and shit like that, or putting up provocative little. It's like Uber for your naked photos. How is it like Uber? Because it's not just a specialty niche profession anymore. It's been like anyone can sign up and do it. It's so easy. Oh, like anyone oh, can drive for Uber. Anyone, yeah. anyone can go on OnlyFans. I thought you were like, they're going to they're gonna deliver them to me. Like, it, it affects <laughs> medallion pricing. <laughs> what is her OnlyFans about, though? Yeah, that is a good... Maybe she's not sexual. No, maybe you can have it wrong. What percentage of people do you think on OnlyFans are doing something that's sexual? I think 100% oh, of them. them. No, can't be. Because that's, that's, that's not what it was born out of, right? It's what it became, right? Um, no, I well, think... The, the time like, they can't said, you have an OnlyFans? Sure. Isn't it almost like a Patreon? Yeah, it's exactly what it is. Which so is I coming. Can, can I get an OnlyFans? You want to get one? We'll make one for you right now. You want an OnlyFans? I want. Why, what, what do I need to do if I have an OnlyFans? Do I have to just do web, web shows where I talk to people? That or, I mean, or, uh, but I think the ones who make money is who get a little freaky deaky. You got to get a little freaky, I think. Cash Me Outside made a million dollars, they said. Uh, 60 Fifth, million. Yeah. yeah. 60, 60. No, zero. a million she made. No, right? no, no, no. No, she just bought a $6 million house in Florida. Over 50, over 50. She says that. No, she. Well, I mean, she just bought a six million dollar house in cash halls. She published right. the bank statements. She published her bank statements that says she has fifty million transferring from from OnlyFans. She's got to pay taxes on that. Well, Florida shows have to pay the state tax. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. Good for her. Wait, why would she post that? Yeah, fifty because million pe bucks. People were claiming it was fake. Yeah, she made fifty million yeah. on OnlyFans. Says so she's all bad baby. I forgot her name. She's over cash me outside references. She looks different too now. Did she get? She looks like well, she's that not girl, a, she's a child she, anymore. Isn't she young though? Isn't she very young? Not anymore. I think she's old. And I, I think she's a teenager. I don't think so. Yes, yeah, she, dude, she's a teenager. I'm telling you right now. This, yeah, she was like 13 on Doctor Phil. Look, she published. I can't. I can't see. 42 that. million bucks up there. How many subscriptions is that? I don't. I can't read that number. What is that? That's a lot of money. Tips. Millions. Sixteen thousand. Oh, 161,000. That's not millions. And tips. Messages. Here's the gro the gross, I think, or the net. The net is 52 million. So, oh, because OnlyFans takes 10%? Yeah. Or whatever it is? And she's... 20, 20%. So, 50, they're taking 20%. They take 10. So, they take 20, then she got to pay tax on that 42, no? Right. So, she's... But she's in Florida? She's oh, 19. She's, she's you're 19, right. you're right. You're yeah. Right. There you go. Damn, that is good for her. Wait, so it's not even. So she didn't even make that off of her music. She no. said, and she tweeted the ca ca caption. She said, "Go cry about it, bitch." Why even? Why even do music anymore? So she made more than ninety nine point nine percent of people on this planet by just just charging to talk to her on the computer. You don't even talk to her. You just look at her naked photos and like it. She's posting naked photos. I haven't been on her account. No, but if she was posting naked photos, they'd be out because someone would just take a picture with their phone yeah, well, and post you it. You go on Reddit and you just type in their name, leaked photos. No, no, but it'd be everywhere, right? Because it, it, let's say she had a naked photo and I was the, the, the person on yeah. it. Wouldn't I, couldn't I just take a picture of my screen? It just watermarked her OnlyFans. You could illegally. Then how, like are those, could, how would those not be up everywhere? Just like I could pirate Joker's. No, right, but I'm saying I don't think she did it because you could type her name in right now, nude, and it would come up immediately. There's no way someone with that status, she has that kind of $50 million status, she's in that demand. She posts something with a with naked, that's going to be online. Got so it. she's not even, she's making that money not even getting I think nude. she probably just shows like maybe a, a nipple or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's stuff like that where she's, I guess she's just, um, you know, walking around and. Wait, so this is just out there? Nicotine alternatives, you love them, I love them. If em. we're talking Nikki alterns, we're talking Lucy. Look, we're all adults here, and I know some of us choose to use nicotine to relax, focus, or just unwind do after a long do. day. Lucy no. is a modern oral nicotine company that makes nicotine gum, lozenges, and pouches for adults who are looking for the best, most responsible way to consume their nicotine. It's a new year. Yes. Well, I mean, it has been. Why not start it out with switching to new nicotine product that you can feel 
better about. That's what it is, baby. If you enjoy, if you enjoy using nicotine, you should definitely check out Lucy's products at lucy.co. That's lucy.co and use promo code BABE, B-A-B, at checkout. I'm telling you, if you are interested in a better way to use nicotine, visit lucy.co and be sure to use that promo code BABE, B-A-B-E. I'm telling you, they are the best at oral products. No one's going to give you better oral than Lucy. That's right. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is addictive chemical. Listen, your aunt is using, you, you, you want your aunt to use Lucy? As opposed to smoking? Yeah. yeah. Then you put that, you you take that Lucy and you they shove it right in her mouth. They sent me samples. I'm going to give it to my aunt. You, I'll open up, her, I'll, I'll hold her mouth open. You throw it in. Yeah, we'll like throw a it right seagull. In. Yeah. Lucy.co, promo code, hey, babe. Baby, Listen, you want to talk about a new way to bank? That's what I want to talk about. We want to talk about Novo. Fortune favors the bold, the strong, the brave, the beautiful. For your <laughs> business to break out of anything holding you back, you need business checking as brave as you are, as brave as your mama was. Woo! Introducing Novo Business Checking. Novo is powerfully, as powerful as your mama was. Yes. Is, is powerfully simple business checking. That's all it is. Instead of a one-size-fits-all approach, Novo knows that there's all different shapes and sizes out there, so it customizes itself to your business to save you time and free up cash flow with seamless integrations to Stripe, Shopify, QuickBooks, online, and more. All that, and unlike traditional banking models, Novo has no minimum balances, much like your mama. Mom. No transaction limits and no hidden fees. Sign up for Novo for free. Free and join the community of over 150,000 fearless small businesses who have found the customizable business checking solution that admires their brave. Sign up for your free business checking account right now at <laughs> novo.co slash hey babe. Plus, hey babe listeners get access to over five thousand bucks in perks and discounts go to n-o-v-o dot dot c-o that's n-o-v-o dot c-o slash hey babe to sign up for free novo dot c-o slash hey babe novo platform inc is a fintech not, not a, bank. a bank like your mama banking <laughs> services provided by middlesex federal savings fa member fdic terms and conditions apply yeah <laughs> yeah it's leaked Oh, it is leaked. Yeah, I guess she yeah. just shows her bot. Yeah. She looks what? Nude OnlyFans leaked and sexy photos leaked. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but That's what she, she was, does. Oh, she just was. She was just freaking on Doctor Phil at like fifteen. I, I gotta be honest. So OnlyFans, though, as a business, whoever created it is a pretty genius idea because they said everyone's sexting, and why not pay for a service where you can be t sexted by someone. That you are a fan of, but you, you know, you is know, that what you do? You, you know, it's she dangerous. Sex people that she doesn't know. No, well, no, no. Be. Basically, I'm saying like, if you tip her, like you tip her, and she'll send you a message of, uh, you know, whatever. Well, I don't know. What I've actually seen people do like almost cameos while they're like doing stuff to themselves to you. If you can't on OnlyFans, I think you could do sex videos too. Like it's yeah. a whole wild world yeah, up there, dude. Our children are coming into a fucking it's, nuts world. A nuke might be a good. Could thing. you imagine that she's she's worth 50, 40 million? <laughs> Dollars. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, well, Twenty million you know into the dangerous? government. She's worth tens and tens of millions of dollars. For essentially, let's be honest. She went on Doctor Phil. That's how she got her name out there. She, kudos to her for managing that, springboarding off that, and managing it well. I heard the music. The music's not for me, but apparently, she's doing doing great with the music. But could you imagine that she could make that kind of money? She's making more than CEOs yeah. of major companies, which they don't deserve that either. She's making more than professional ball players. I know. That's no, why for, for, for literally just doing something out of our house that probably doesn't even take that long. But what's no. scary is like, all right, she's doing great, but the coolest kid in high school right now launches one and then all the high school boys. You know what I mean? Like there's no real thing stopping these kids from just joining it. You have to be 18, I'd imagine. Oh, yeah. You never lied. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, I got to imagine they have a stringent policy to check. I'm sure it 18. says uh, birth date. You think so? <laughs> of course. Well, there well, would be so many losses. They would get shut down. They would get shut down. If they weren't taking the right steps to make but sure how could you prove? that that's not going to be, uh, you know, like young underage kids, they'd, they'd get shut down in a heartbeat. But how, how can you prove? Like, they'd probably you make you upload all your documents. or something like that? Yeah. Uh, I, I think so. Children all are right. increasingly selling explicit content on OnlyFans. So shut down by the New York Post immediately is what <laughs> just happened. Um.
Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is a crazy. It's a sad world. Wow. Kid Side Singer is 12 years old. Jesus Christ. What? So how do they not get shut down immediately? Theater. What is only go, go to OnlyFans.com? I mean, what that show it? Euphoria is just children's OnlyFans for HBO. I won't. I won't watch it. I, 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 I watched I one it. season. I said I can't do this. Anymore. I don't want to hear it. It I feels weird. It. I heard it was a good show, but I I I, I think it's gonna upset me because I have you know I have young family members. Oh, that, that's why we stopped watching. Yeah. Right. Should I sign in with the Taste Buds Twitter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what is it? Is it just like you had just, how do you find people? You just search for them. No. All right. Let's see. This whole thing's got to get shut down. I mean, no, it's like Uber. You don't, you won't find you by your real name. You find them by an at. And then the girls all have the at in there. And the, there's girls. I'm like, you know, they, they want to go on a date with me. And then I click on their profile and it's an only fans link on the top. Really? And then it becomes like, well, isn't everyone's wife going to have an only fans in her past? Wow. Yeah. That's yeah, but, good. But I, I wonder, like, once you shut it down, it's shut down. It's not accessible on the internet, right? So no. if, like, you shut down your account, you take down all those videos. But her leaked stuff's up yeah, forever. It's leaked but up. she doesn't give a shit. She's making $40 million. She's 19 years old. But what She's about not- the girl who, who made, what about the girl who's a middle, who makes right. $450 a month? Right. Yeah, and but, it lives no, but no one's finding her. Yeah. I mean, but you have she to. She shuts that down. She has a life ahead of her. She's not going to get I mean, she, she, she did one year. You make 40. Literally, you make. She's 19. You made $40 million. Let's say netted. Let's say she netted 30 after taxes. What do you need to do anything for again? I, I, I mean, mean, go live your life. Do whatever you want. But as far as money goes, you're good. Uh, it's insane. It's you don't insane. need any more money the in your life. The amount that she has made versus the work that she has put in. Not saying she doesn't work hard now. She doesn't hustle now. She's not really trying to make it in the music. I'm not saying that now, but give me... I mean, no, she she wasn't this until a year or two ago. No. And now she's worth $40 million. That's insane. Yep, there That's you go. That's insane, dude. So do we do an OnlyFans honestly- instead of a Patreon for Hey Babe? <laughs> Where we do Hey I mean- Babe, but we'll do a butt naked? Would you do that? Uh, what if it was going to give us 40 mil? Would you do a year of Hey Bay butt naked only on OnlyFans <laughs> for 40? At the end, we get $40 million, but we are butt naked, no pillows. Oof. We could keep, yeah. Well, if you do it once, it's the same as doing it 100, uh, every every episode. What the hell's the difference? You, Would you do it if once. we got $40 million? But we're butt naked on this couch. This, everything's same. We're butt naked. And would Pimp's you? naked too. Yeah. You would do it? Heartbeat? If we got forty mil at the end, and yes. We, we gotta, but then we gotta split it. But we get twenty, we gotta, and we gotta pay taxes. No, let's say we're netting twenty each. We're, we're netting, netting tw- we're netting twenty each. That's I, that would be. A, I'd have to consider that. Okay. I mean, right? You know, Something right now I'm saving leave money. In the comments, I'm, do you want us to do it? <laughs> I'm saving money. I'm doing it on the up and up right now. <laughs> you know, like, I, I, it's a, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Because then, because then we, you know, you get what does he have? What does Tiger have? Seven point six nine million on OnlyFans. Yep. What? Yep. yep. A lot of a lot of people are making real money on this. Mia Khalifa, I understand. She's a point. How do they know though. what how do they know what these people make though? It's all public, I think it's like public. Patreon. Yeah, it's like Patreon. So then why did she have to prove her forty two million? Because people, oh, good point. people really didn't believe her, yeah. I guess. I don't know. It's interesting Mia Khalifa, who's a porn star, is on OnlyFans when you can just watch her. That's have why sex she's only net, free. That's why she's only netting six yeah. mil. Yeah. Only six mil. It gets messy, guys. Dude, it just gets weird. I know? will. I mean, come on. Who's the number one OnlyFans? Um, is she wa- number one? Be, Bad this might, Baby. This might be an older list. Black China. Got it. Black China is number one. Twenty million, but that's less than Bad Baby now. So now, what does Black China do? But she doesn't do anything. She dated a Kardashian. Oh, Rob Kardashian. Yeah. Right. Is she? Right. A, is she in? Uh, uh, is she a, a rapper? Right? I forget. I thought she was just a, a stripper formerly. I'm not sure. Good for her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Also, you're not going to get shunned if you have an OnlyFans if that's what you own, if you own it. It's just the people that that think that that's not a... I mean, look, I mean, you got to you gotta give props to these people, I guess. Give props. It's just crazy, though, that it's just... This is this is blowing my mind. This is blowing my it's mind. Like, yeah. Imagine like our parents, like my dad worked for 20, 30, 40 years and retired and hard, of hard labor... And doesn't have a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of what the bad baby made in in one day. Yeah, well, it's I, just one you year. know. I was just saying, like the new one percent. It's just people hot enough for other people to want to pay for their nudes. Yeah, the like the mansions that <laughs> this is because normally it was like, all right, you're going to become an influencer on Instagram, but that that can't net you anywhere near this kind of money. No right? way. I wonder if I should pay. Somebody like a Black China to put you sponsor them. 
No, or like I pay and I ask them to put the trailer to my Netflix special, <laughs> especially Weshi, on their OnlyFans. Oh, that's funny. Would that be good? Let's do it. Yeah, why not? They're watching it in the background. I thought you were like, I wonder if I should just hire someone and and pay them. And I thought like you, you're an agent for OnlyFans. Actually, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> well, what can they just do it themselves though? At that at that point, you're what a pimp, that? dude. Yeah. yeah really. <laughs> Not a homeless pimp, though. Uh, uh, could be. Depends who your clients are. Only fans explained what you need to know. Okay. Not safe. What does NSFW Not mean? Not safe for work, player. Not safe for work videos and photos to their accounts, which are protected by a paywall. To gain access to the content, an individual must pay a monthly subscription that ranges anywhere from four ninety nine to 50, 5 bucks to 50 bucks. What's she charging? Uh, what's her name? I would say Bad Baby's got to be 50 bucks, fitty. right? Like, she's getting it. She's got to be fitty. Oh, crazy man yeah it's not for me well i have to deal with it more than you got i mean I'm, you're younger i'm gonna have to date someone who has an only fans and like you know you just watch videos of them randomly having sex with so other sad people. that kane kane tanaka could have had an only fans i know fuck I, she would have made everything she would have made billions kane tanaka's only fan who would who would who could make if who started an only fans what person starting an only fans would Make more money than Bad Baby. Um, like you think if Trump had an OnlyFans, he'd make more money than? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I honestly, I, I, I would, I would pay to see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm afraid of. I is this the know. tall woman? Oh my god. What the hell is that? Yeah, people see dual types of. Oh wow! Oh, she's doing. Whoa! Um, whoa! Whoa! Huge cock, and she's stabbing it. Okay. Wait, wait, what? I don't know what's going on. I think she's, she's doing in some type of erotica with um, stabbing I, you. I put on the worst of OnlyFans montage. Okay. Worst of OnlyFans montage. So, see, I think. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a piece of my deal. God. That what came just out, happened? That, that thing came out of nowhere. Wow. Oh, what? what? There you go. Is that real? Yeah, this is all real. Yeah. You can't show any of this. No, no, I'm not showing. This is just your reactions here. Is that real? Yeah. This woman there's a. Does she uh, know what's going on or no? Yeah, heavy set no. girl playing. The with woman herself. that's to the right doesn't know what's going on. Nope. She has no idea that woman's right there. Is that a crime? I think so. Uh, yeah, it seems like it. She's squirting and rubbing her vagina uh, with her foot on the chair. On the armchair of a hundred-year-old woman who looks senile. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Yeah, see this. Now one. there's a woman taped up, moaning on the floor. This is weird. It's really weird, man. Just getting tied up. Yeah. See, oh, I that stuff's humiliating. This, this is like how, a, how, how, how yeah. do you? That's something you can't walk away from. No. And if it's people also, if people identify that woman that just did that with yeah, that old woman. Yeah, and it's also like stuff like that. It's like hey, to each their own, whatever gets you off. But it's also like Who's there's a deep for that? there's a deep insecurity there with these. It's like, oh, there's you're going to degrade yourself like that to make money. Oh. I mean, start a podcast. Right. <laughs> Have some yeah. decency. You I, know? Mean, I mean, we're at doing least on it. a podcast. You don't look like foolish. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you have to delete some tweets and stuff. Yeah. But, you know. Oh, my God. That was, I, that I'm was shocked at what you just showed me. That was a lot. Yeah. I've been seeing weird things with OnlyFans that worry me. Interesting. Well, do you think now we're getting to the point where, like, Elon Musk just took over Twitter, all these OnlyFans things? Like, do you think it's going to get to a point where society is going to step in and be like, all right, this is illegal now? Like, you can't do this anymore? Or do you think it just gets worse from here? That's a really good question. Thank you. Uh, well, this has been Hey Babe. Yeah. <laughs>